Kristen oh, Amon. <laughs> Kristen, a year later, well, that, that wasn't a year. That was only a few seconds. But a year <laughs> later, you finally make it back onto the field. We get to see Orlando <laughs> Pride playing in the fall series. What was that like to get back on the pitch after such a long time away? I mean, it felt like forever. To be honest, it felt like way longer than a year. <laughs> I thought I retired and then came back to play. But um, <laughs> it was so exciting to finally be able to just compete and be out there again with some of my teammates and just playing the sport that like we obviously love. And it was awesome to be back. Yeah, what, Chris, I'm wondering, I mean, the, the year has been weird for everybody and, and for Orlando, obviously, the extended... <laughs> Um, time of, of not playing of, of I mean what what are these six months kind of been like of uh, you know maybe a lot going on obviously but um, just kind of that middle period there of of I'm sure you guys are happy to to have games in this fall mm -hmm. after not having them in the summer what was that like just kind of juggling you know as a player to to know what you're doing next or in the fall right yeah I mean like you guys said this year has been crazy for everybody but for us it's been a lot of different emotions to be honest like we're so happy to be playing now but we were so frustrated and mad and sad and the world was quarantined and then we were quarantined by ourselves and it was just a lot going on but i think we come we've come to the point to where we are now to where we can like just put all of that behind us and now we're just like ready to play games ready to get this fall series going and uh finally get our feet wet in the year 2020. <laughs> Kristen, one of the things that happens really quick, Lori, uh, is when you go through difficult seasons, you really start to learn a lot about who, when, especially when you're in a team environment, about who you are as a team. Do you feel like that, that time allowed you guys to learn a little bit deeper about your connections as teammates as well? Yeah, I mean, we definitely put a lot of trust in each other. And I think, you know, that off the field will translate on the field as well. And I think you guys will see that we're ready to fight for each other in these upcoming games and kind of just pull it all together. So it definitely, we found a little uh, diamond in the rough, I guess, the silver lining. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> and Kristen, you've obviously been in the league for a number of years. You understand the ebbs and flows that the NWSL has gone through. Um, any, how, how has that been in terms of leading up to this season? Any, any question on like whether or not you were going to go a different direction um, or nope, you were highly motivated. You're like, I'm in this. Um, I love playing for Orlando and this is, this is where I'm going. I do. I honestly absolutely love it here. Being here since, you know, the first year the team came in the league, I'm very dedicated to this team and I feel very loyal and Orlando is my team. So um, I didn't really want to go anywhere else. I wanted to stick it out. And now that we get the chance to play it, I'm glad we did. Or I did, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I want to uh, I want to give a shout out from way back. I was telling Lori and Jordan about <laughs> the quick strike days 10 oh years ago. Uh, <laughs> so I, I worked for a W League team that Kristen played on, best team in the Eastern Conference, I think, for a couple of years, I'd say. Yeah, just Pally, drop uh, that in, years in a row. Yeah. <laughs> Pally Blues had something to say about the national thing. But um, <laughs> but I think it's really cool that, I mean, I mentioned that because you've been in the league seven years now in, in the NWSL. You played W League while WPS was going on. You played in Russia. Mm -hmm. um, and we've seen a lot of these stories, and, and there hasn't been – enough expansion yet we finally have we've got louisville coming la you know some other promise on the horizon so um th there has been talk from players of without that expansion there hasn't necessarily been opportunity and players maybe have have just given up or they've gone elsewhere um so i think it's really cool to to see that you know not just hey i made it for a year but you've had this longevity after you know some of those other stops and and probably going places maybe you didn't want to be so uh, you know what <laughs> how does that time you know, before NWSL shape you, you had time in Russia, even what, what did that do for you? And how did you kind of maybe push through that for, you know, all those players experiencing that now? Yeah. I mean, obviously my path wasn't a straight line. I was very going down a windy road, but I think my path to get to where I am now, like in all the successes that I've have had has kind of like shaped the player that I am now. I fought so, so hard to get here and for so long. And now I, I honestly feel that I'm playing in the best league in the world. I mean, 
you mentioned expansion, but any team that comes in the league competes with any top team that has been here. So to be able to finally make it into this league, and even though it took me some time, like you said, like I've been here for a while now. So the path that I took was all worth it. And, you know, having those difficulties and having to go through some of those things just made me a better player. And I feel like playing overseas is a different type of game. So I was able to bring that into this league and then, yeah, just be here for a while. And I love it. And I love to be able to say that I am a veteran in the best league in the world. <laughs> Kristen, I love this about you because you just have this like dichotomy. You are so <laughs> bubbly and happy and, but you are a fierce competitor. And um, one of the things that just popped up here is uh, this comment from uh -oh. your family watching you. Oh, I know dear. I know my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I know that your family also means a lot to you, but I, I'm wondering how do you explain that dichotomy of this you're a really happy go lucky person, but you are a different person <laughs> on the field and you want to win everything. How how do you manage that or how does soccer allow you to be a different person or really a maybe fulfill really who you are as a person. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I've been like this since I was a little kid. I, <laughs> I'm like, I smile a lot and everybody's like, oh, Chris is so nice. And then I get into any competition and I'm like, let's go. I'm going to win this. And Checkers. I feel like I was like that when I was like two. <laughs> Everything is a competition, whether it be a card game or a soccer game. Um, but yeah, I mean, on the field, like once I cross those lines, it's, I'm ready to compete and I have fun doing it as well. You know, you can't be too nice on the field. It's going to get run over. So you got to be able to flip the switch and, uh, and turn it on, which for me is awesome because I get to take some frustrations out on the field as well as have fun. So you kind of get a little bit of everything. Yeah. I'm, I'm familiar with the two personalities, one off the field, one on the field. So Jordy can tell you that as well. Um, we, all, we all know. Yeah. You have to, you have to be. Off the field, what, what keeps you ticking? Where, um, like, what's, what's the main thing? What's a driver off the field? Any new hobbies that you had? I mean, Orlando was in quarantine a lot longer than most teams. So, <laughs> um, so I actually am a massive animal lover, and I have been volunteering at um, a shelter down here since I've been down here. So for I think five years now, um, mm. and I actually even currently, <laughs> I have a foster dog. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. we got to see it. Yeah, and, we do. Well, she's so she just had a litter of seven puppies. <laughs> wait do you have all the puppies too yeah i'll, I'll show you <laughs> yeah this is the content like, we're here she's for she's so sweet and she's like amazing so here are the puppies you guys oh, oh <laughs> uh, this is amazing wait, <laughs> and here's mom say hi hi sweet thing so yeah this so i'm so i'm gonna leave her to it because she she doesn't mind me messing with her puppies. And this is my dog, Jersey. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hi, <laughs> but, sweetheart. Um, so, yeah. So, off the field for me, um, volunteering and fostering definitely keeps me busy. And then I, I think Jersey got pretty sick of me taking her on seven walks a day. And, you know, the only thing I could do is go to the park, just me and her. So <laughs> sometimes <laughs> she was like, I'm over this. But, um, yeah. My second passion is definitely animals, so I like love to help out with shelters any way that I can. I did see you golfing as well. I do. I like oh, golf. Don't... anything active. Really, is like my thing. I love being. Active. <laughs> don't get Jordan started on the golf. I I guys, I think I missed my calling. <laughs> Watch out, LPGA. Jordan's coming. It's never too your, late. It's never too late. <laughs> your dog situation seems so much better. I'm dog sitting two really great friends, and one developed a UTI, the other was puking. Oh, wow. I'm like, I'm the dog walker with the two leashes down the street. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yours seems calm. <laughs> yeah, she's she's calm in the house. Outside, she's a little bit. But, yeah, yeah, well, Lori, now you know who to call when you're having those. I do. Yes, yeah. I got you. Kristen. I got exactly. <laughs> I love that, Kristen. And what, another thing on the field I think is so interesting about you is you've become this utility player. You can play anywhere on the field. I, 
I've seen you play outside back and winger and number 10 and number eight and uh, six. Is there really any position that you haven't played in your time in NWSL? Yeah, in the goal, you know, don't back there. I could do anything else, but I'll leave it to Ashwin in the goal. Uh, yeah, Ashwin wouldn't have that, right, either. Yeah. Well, maybe she would. <laughs> has that been – have you embraced that or has it, what have been the challenging things about it as well? Um, I mean, I, I definitely love being able to, to move around. I think that's helped me stay in the league for as long as I have because, you know, I'm also not the biggest player on the field. <laughs> I'm pretty tiny. So when you have these superstars coming into teams, um, to be able to kind of just like slip in and out of different spots um, to, to do anything that I can to help the team, I've always said that I'm willing to play anywhere. So having that ability to do that, I think helps me stay on the field as well. Yeah. To wrap up our time here, we might have a few more questions with you, but one of the things that I'm really appreciative of with this fall, um, this fall series with NWSL is the money that Verizon has put into the community shield mm -hmm. and being a professional athlete. Yes, it is about representing yourself and your family, but it's also re about representing your community and the champion of this fall series of the Community Shield gets $25,000 to donate to a local charity or a small business. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what, what Orlando is looking to do uh, with the money if they were to take home the shield, you know? <laughs> yeah, so um, the charity that we've chosen, is it's called Paramore Kids Zone. And for us, it's awesome because where it is, it's right near our stadium. So it's kind of like our backyard. Um, it's a minority community. And what they do is they help kids learn life skills that you don't necessarily learn in schools. So instead of, you know, having like math, they have how to, you know, balance a checkbook or how to um, like sell, do like small business stuff. And so they get to learn about things that will help them, you know, as they grow and as they progress. And it's awesome that hopefully we can help give back to them. And I love that Verizon is giving back as well. And it's just something that I'm like, for me, I'm happy that we can um, partner with them, but also I'm sure a lot of my teammates are, are happy that we can be able to give back as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. And we can't let you go before asking you a little bit of you guys have a game this weekend. You're going to Houston. What's to come for Orlando Pride? And uh, what do you like about your squad looking into this fall series? Yeah, I mean, for us, it's awesome because we got paired with the reigning champs <laughs> of the league, <laughs> as well as the, um, the Utah champion challenge right cup, yep. so uh -huh. yeah the challenge cup champ so for us it's an awesome challenge for us to come in and play these two teams and kind of like make a statement because we missed out on all the fun <laughs> do you guys so have a little bit of chip on your shoulder yeah we as do the prize? of course we do we're yeah. like let's go we missed it but you know we're here now so bring it on <laughs> well I think we all are one. We loved seeing you guys play last weekend and, and seeing all these faces that we haven't seen in a while take the field. But um, two, we just wish you the best of luck. And thank, um, you. thank you for everything you're doing, not only on the field, Kristen, but everything you're doing off the field as well. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, we really appreciate you <laughs> as, as a person and as a player. So you're getting a lot of love from people in the comments. So. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, you've got puppies to take care of. Yeah. I do. I, do. <laughs> I might. Good I luck might be. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Kristen. All right. Bye, Kristen. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.